Hey gamers and welcome to my review of Batman v Superman. So first up, I actually thought this was probably one of my favourite Batman movies of all time. I mean, the way they did it just seemed so Arkhamish, like Arkham based. Like the stealth that he actually uses detective skills to figure things out. The combat move, maneuvering the gadgets, all that. He did. He didn't exactly kill either, like most people are saying. He indirectly killed, which is still bad. But he did actually kill. He just like ran over them. Oh, he ran over. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, I ran over him. Oopsies. Yeah. So that is one of those things. I do believe that Roger Tomatoes is completely wrong with what they're saying. They're saying it's the worst movie. <laughs> they're saying that Captain America: Civil War actually beat it. No, it did not. I'm sorry, Captain America Civil War did not beat this movie. And so, uh, don't trust what they're saying there. It was, compared to Marvel movies, this new DC Universe is apparently going to be a lot darker. Very dark. Like, I would recommend kids go see this movie. The dialogue between Batman and Alfred was amazing. Like, the humour that Alfred had and all that. The way he was at behind the wheel directing him. That was pretty good like I, I it was a lot better than the other Alfred and ones like quite good so I like that compared to the first Man of Steel movie Super that this was a lot more relatable like in the old movie he was I could watch the first movie that well like I we had to stop and start that movie but this movie he seemed a lot more like human like it showed that side of him it showed the relationship between Lois and him and I actually like that I also like how they're doing the Lois Lane and him together and uh, not the Wonder Woman like the New 52 that would be annoying like seriously but yeah so he was a lot better this movie really improved they really improved his character in this movie Wonder Woman I actually thought she didn't have any seats but they were amazing either way like her scenes that she was in were amazing. Like I thought she was amazing in this movie. They didn't really have much of her, but she was amazing at. I also liked the little relationship that at the end of her and Bruce. That was pretty clever. So clearly they're not doing the new fifty two way for Wonder Woman. Like super better for her. That is good. Lex I didn't really like he seemed very crazy. He did actually see like himself. Like, it wasn't the Lex I grew up with. Very crazy. They, you know, it wasn't the Lex I grew up with. Doomsday seemed pretty good. Seemed like a giant Ninja Turtle from New Bay Films. That's what he seemed like. But, yeah, uh, they did a pretty good job with him. Although I did like how it was just Zod mutated and, you know, all things. That was just gross. But uh, yeah, I also like a little thing in it that happened, which actually happened from the comics. They took all the comics and they actually did change it all. That's what made it dark as well. That was pretty cool. It's, I'm not going to spoil it. The Batman vs. Super fight scene, I thought, was quite rushed. Like, just very small. And the way they, you know, came together, like, with have the same mother's name that was just too forced like there wasn't much yeah it's just like oh we had the same mother's name let's go join forces just just didn't like that really anyway also with the fight scene the whole part of batman and super fighting and how there was always people saying super could be batman i liked how they really showed them off like they showed how batman would actually be super like he didn't directly fight him he outsmarted him so that was good about that. The Batman, also the Batman dream sequence from the trailers and all that. Yep, that was. Uh, uh, it looked like a dream, but also from it and things that happened in it, it kind of looked like a future. And there's a little thing that I'm not going to spoil, but yeah, so it made me think, oh, you know, it's going to be something to do with the future. So I think. It, may have something to do with dark side because of those things and the way it looks also at the end of the movie Lex 
quotes some stuff which makes me think Doomsday, so I mean Dark Side, sorry. Dark Side. So I probably leading for the Justice League movie, which would be good. But that's what I actually see coming. Anyway, overall I think this movie was I give this movie a nine out of ten for everything that happened. Like the little things like Lex, the fight scene, some other things. They were very small. Very small little mistakes I made. Overall, 9 out of 10, this movie was amazing. I would recommend you go see it yourself to see it, because people who don't like certain things probably will say it's bad. But I give it 9 out of 10. Alright, well, that's done. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. And we'll see you with another Let's Play or Review.